Hey everybody, John with Owl, and today we are gonna install the brand new Owl Solo Bumper. I'm trying to multitask here, hold the phone and hold the bumper. You can see this gorgeous piece of hardware right here is gonna go on this van, which looks slightly disassembled. Don't let this fool you. This is actually, for other work that we're doing, you do not need to remove the grill or anything like that to install this bumper. It's actually incredibly easy to install. On uh, Sprinter vans, if you look, you've got typically the grill here with the Mercedes emblem. Uh, what you're gonna find is there are two bolts on top. Now, in some vans, these are exposed. Some vans, there's a little plastic cap over them. You can just pry that out with a uh, flathead screwdriver. You are not gonna use these again, so you can toss them. Um, same is true of these bolts. We're gonna back them out and then um, you won't be using them again. You will toss them. So the way this bumper installs is actually quite easy. Let me see if I can prop you up right here so you can see this. Okay. So you see it's got two uh, brackets on the top and then it's going to also have two brackets on the bottom. And those are gonna connect to some bolts under your bumper on the van. Um, we've actually, there's kind of two ways, let me tell you this, there's two ways you can install this stuff. There are screws. I hope this is pretty self-explanatory. You're just uh, mounting these plates onto the bumper. They come in different colors. This is a gunmetal. I think that looks really, really good with uh, the black. It also looks really good with a blue-gray van, which this one is. We also have kind of that tan color that goes with um, whatever Mercedes calls it that's totally wrong. Uh, desert, uh, desert stone or... Uh, pebble stone or stone beach, whatever. Uh, it's a desert tan. Uh, and then we also have black. It's kind of a glossy black, so it matches the bumper, but it's gonna have a slight contrast. Anyway, uh, this bumper is gonna mount it here. It does not affect the radar sensor, which uh, is for your adaptive crews and your emergency braking, so we're not gonna touch that. It also will clear, some uh, vans have a camera right here. We will clear that. These right here and right here are for your sensor mounts. So the way this works is this is going to, we're gonna move these two bolts here, and then we're gonna install this with two bolts that come in your kit that are gonna bolt right through here to hold the bumper in place. And then what we're gonna do, actually I should say not and then, to start what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under and you've got a line for these sensors. So these sensors on the van come from over here in the wiring harness, and then they run around the daisy chain around the van. And so these outside ones are gonna stay in place. We're gonna remount the center sensors into the front of the bumper. And in this way, uh, your parking sensor should operate normally and not be affected. Uh, we're also gonna remove this. If you've never removed this, you should. Come on, be my friend. It's hard to do with one hand. This is your tow hook mount. You can take that off so that you can screw directly into the tow hook way deep in there. If you've never used your tow hook, it's under the uh, feet of the passenger. There's a, a tool kit there you can open up your tow hooks in there, it screws in there. So you can also take this plastic part out and um, if you wanna keep it, keep it. If not, toss it. So what we're gonna do again with this sensor daisy chain, we're gonna undo it from these mounts. The way these mounts, I'll try to show a picture of it. I, I guess I can show you on our bumper. So you see how this mount has a top and a bottom? So the sensor snaps into this mount uh, and you can release it by spreading these. It's the same on the, on the factory sprinter. So there's gonna be a little tab on the very top of the sensor and a little tab on the very bottom. We're gonna spread that and pull the sensor backwards. So again, we're gonna come from here, we're gonna undo these because what we're gonna need to do is not undo this one, but we're gonna undo from here all the way that way. This van has fog lights which is good because I'll get to show you that. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna take this wire that runs back in here, we're gonna take it out this hole. So it's gonna be in front of the plastic bumper, but still behind uh, the solo bumper. And then we're gonna clip it into our bumper, come over here, this one's gonna clip into our bumper. And then where no one's gonna see it, we'll make a little hole under here and run the cable back in so we can hit here. And the reason we have to make a hole here is because you've got a nice big, uh, attachment block, which I'll show you, that's gonna plug in to run these fog lights and that goes back in there. So that's kind of the explanation. Uh, now we'll go ahead and do it. All right, we're gonna head under the van. We are over on the driver's side. I wanna show you right there. That, let me zoom out so you can see kind of where we are. That's on the driver's side of the front bumper. 
That is the fog light connector, that big, uh, looks like it has about 10 wires going into it. And then to the right of it, you see the brown uh, parking sensor that we're gonna undo. Now what's weird is this van has fog lights. That right there is the fog light and that is where it plugs in. And for whatever reason, there is no wire there. I don't know why, it looks like they're factory fog lights. I don't know if this customer disabled them for some reasons, but that's weird. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take this sensor uh, loom out and show you how that goes. Okay, so to get the sensor out, I'm taking out the, I'm pushing on the bottom and then you wanna find the sensor with your finger on the front here and then you press in while you pop the sensor clips up and down and then it will uh, pop out. You kind of rock one up, rock one down and then you continue along the line, find the other sensor somewhere here and then you're gonna again press one of the clips down and one up. If I can find it with my fingers, which happen to be extra fat today, there it goes almost out. All right, it's loose enough. And then you can kind of reach up. I should have done it initially, but pull that wire out of those little clips. It's gonna pull straight down. And then you just go along. There's some more clips dead center. And this one. That's loose there. And then you go all the way along. Now you'll need to take out, even though we're not relocating them, you'll need to take out the sensors. Where's the next sensor? Right here. Because we gotta pull the whole wire out through that tow hook. And then when you get up here, you can kind of feel it. You follow the wire up. To that last sensor and then to pull this fog light thing off okay so to get that connector off you see it's got this slide on the back so it slides straight up and then it comes off the vehicle so once you got this thing out this end of it, the fog light end of it, up through. See now that this is out, you can see how this lays out inside the van. You've got a sensor there, a sensor there. This comes through, sensor there, sensor there, fog light connector. So what we're going to do again, now that we have this out, you can see how these mount into the bumper. So what's going to happen is, well, if we get it going the right way, this is going to kind of click in the same orientation into the sensor housing in the bumper. Let me just take this out. I'll show you when it's out. So this is gonna be mounted in the bumper and this sensor is gonna click into it just like it does in the factory uh, mounting solution. And then that's gonna sit, there we go. That's gonna sit flush in the bumper. All right, so I found out why this van has fog lights without a fog light wire. Because my esteemed colleague, in his effort to help me out, disconnected these prior to my video. So um, these wires actually don't come out the top of the headlight. They come out down there. See, the people at Owl are just too efficient. So to start with the install of this bumper, what I want to do is show you these brackets. So these brackets under the van, again, give you reference, coming down kind of just inside of the headlight are these two bolts here and here. We're gonna use the upper bolt so it hides these brackets a little more. So this is gonna tuck in. So we're gonna remove that bolt to 13 millimeter, just gonna remove it and reinstall it with this bracket in place. And then you're not gonna crank it down. You're gonna leave it a little bit loose. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna leave it loose and then we're gonna put the main bumper on the front and then we'll tighten everything down later. So now I'm gonna take this out with a 13 millimeter.
I use a socket to get the bolt out. Realistically, when you're done, you may need to use an open-ended wrench because once you have the bracket in the way, it's really hard to get a socket on it. But um, so now I tighten that, but see how this is loose? That's just how we're gonna leave it for right now. And now we're gonna do the other side just like we did that one. So after you've got your wire loom out and free from the van, what we're gonna do is actually secure this um, to the front here. And an easy way to do that, you should have this step bit in your uh, bumper kit. So you can hold this. So what we're gonna do is make a little spot for a zip tie here. So I'm just gonna go straight in this license plate cover. And if you need to make it bigger, you can. And then you can just put, you can kind of pry that off. And what you can do, so there seems to be no rhyme or reason. This is a European license plate mount. Some vans come in the US, come with European. Some come with US, it doesn't really matter. So now we just made a little hole there so we can thread through a zip tie. And then what we're gonna do is you've got these two sensors, one that used to be here and one that used to be here. We're just gonna take this we're actually gonna stretch this wire kind of as tight as we can get it. Well, I shouldn't say that, center it. But I forgot we have the other sensor there. And this is really just gonna hold it from sagging. Is this mandatory? Probably not, but it works. Okay, and then I don't have a pair of clips with me, but you can snip that off. And then what you're gonna do is you gotta make a re-entrance hole for this, because unfortunately we can't thread it back through there. This doesn't quite fit. So um, you can do one of two things. You can either drill it here or slightly over and whittle it out. I drill it, you've got the step bit, measure it to where this edge is gonna contact that edge. And so you can kind of see about like right there, it looks roughly an inch. Uh, it doesn't really matter. That's just the old clip spot. And this, this won't be seen, obviously. And so now you've got a wide enough spot here that you're just gonna take this bracket and feed it through along with the sensors. And then you're gonna be able to reach in here and drag this through and I can show you how to install the rest of it. But then what we're gonna do is this is gonna allow this sensor to plug in and then these to go over to these uh, mounts over here. And really it's one hole in the bumper and never be seen. It's really uh, not very destructive compared to something like a hammerhead or um, a hidden winch where you've got to really trim out big sections. The hammerhead cuts this whole section off your bumper. So really it's just one little uh, pull in your bumper. It's pretty easy and totally hidden. So then what you're gonna do is you've got this, you wanna come back under your van and I'm just gonna reach up under and you want the sensor facing this way. All the sensors have the attachment to the right. This way is upside down, this way is correct. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure both of them snap in. So even Just because you get it to be flush doesn't mean it's fully snapped in. You gotta kinda look with a light. But right now I'm doing it by feel and then I'll come back with the light. Tuck the rest of this harness up. It's actually sometimes easier. This one has really good access up here. So I'm actually gonna get that one in. It kinda holds everything in place. And then I can come into this one. I don't know what happens if you put these sensors in upside down. I've never tried it. I don't know if it'll work, but being that these people, the Germans designed this, it probably won't work. The sensor goes one way, no other. Okay, so now that looks in, but I don't think it is, so I'll check it with the light. All right, so we got a little bit of light here. You can just kind of see that sensor. It's up behind that bumper support. And then above that, sensor is a little clip you can clip the wire in to hold it up and then over here you see the other sensor that i've clipped back in and then i'm going to clip this fog light back onto that uh, fog light runner there so in your hardware kit this short mercedes bolt is going to come out this is the one we're going to use it's a stainless black oxide bolt now this one has two washers 
and we're trying to find a washer that is a single washer that has this smaller diameter but it's larger uh, so yours likely will have a single washer but this one for the purpose of this video will have two so what's going to happen is now again let me prop you up hopefully you can see we're going to take these bolts and we're going to take this well before i put this on let me interrupt this video and say you've got this plate on you've got the smaller black black oxide bolts to mount these trim pieces and these come through you've got nylocks for the back of it this one in the center will be a longer bolt than the other bolts that's because this is where the bracket is going to mount hopefully you guys can see that this is where the bracket's going to mount don't have don't tighten this because you're going to attach this to that bottom bracket these mesh plates you can mount them on the outside or you can mount them on the inside it's really purely up to you I think they look kind of cool on the outside, but if you want a more subtle look, you can mount them on the inside. So, okay. the, so the other aspect I forgot to mention here is you've got these top Y plates. We call them Ys because when they're off the bumper, they look like Ys. These have a fit, uh, so they will only fit one direction. If it doesn't fit well, swap it. Uh, these use, what is the length? That looks like it's a one inch, three eighths bolt. You're gonna want to put the uh, washer on the bottom on the inside. This one actually has it on the top side. So uh, I assembled this slightly backwards, but the washer is going to go on the inside where the nut is. You can leave these a little bit loose if you want um, uh, just to test fit, but then you won't have access to them once it's mounted. So if you want to check with your two holes on the bumper to make sure that it lines up and then make any adjustments needed because it's very hard to access those nuts once um, it's installed. So this one's set up quite well. So I'm going to take these bolts that I spoke about a little while ago, and I'm just going to set that in and hand screw that, set the other one in. Now, the other thing before I get this too tight is that this uh, bottom bracket, you want to slip it under the bumper and it's easy to do when everything is loose, very hard to do when everything's tight. So make sure you get those under before you put these top bolts in. So I have not tightened those down. Those are just finger tight on the top there. Coming under here, you see this one center bolt is still loose. You've got the bracket there. So now everything's loose here. You can push up on this and move this all around. So what I'm gonna do now is set you on the ground. So we've got the top ones uh, hand tight. We've slid these uh, brackets in under the bumper. One of the things that I want to do now that uh, I kind of jumped ahead of myself is we want to install the uh, wiring loom here. So again, I'm going to set you down. All right, look how nice that works. Perfect. And you want to make sure that's seated all the way down and that's protruding flat with the front surface of the sensor. And then all this wiring, we're going to bring across Now you're gonna see these brackets, you wanna lever the bumper up and get both of these brackets underneath. These are gonna to connect to that center bottom bolt on the bumper. We've got these bigger one inch bolts that are gonna go through here. So now we're gonna kind of move the bumper around to get these things. And you may need to keep these pretty loose, these ones here that connect to the van pretty loose to get these to line up. So you can get in there with an open-ended wrench. I think it's a 9 16th to tighten that up. And then I'm gonna go do the other side. And again, most of this stuff is still being left loose. Well, you can loosen it as you go to 
to get it fit. It makes life a whole lot easier. I just had that thing too tight. All right, so at this point, you've got the top bolts are in but loose, the bolts on the bottom of the bumper are in but loose, and the bolts on the chassis are in but loose. So now you're gonna come through and kind of tighten everything down. The order doesn't really matter. So that, my friends, is pretty much the installation of the bumper. You've got the top ones tight, you tighten the ones right here, and then you tighten the bottom bracket going to the chassis. And you've got a couple options now that it's all finished. So these holes right here, you can mount lights to that. That was why those holes are there. You can also get some Axia design mounts or any sort of light clamp that you want. And you can put um, some round lights on there, like some Baja designs, LP4s, LP6s, and really finish off the front end of your truck. But at this point, you've got your sensors installed all the way down. Your radar is totally unobstructed. If you have a camera on the front of your van, it's unobstructed. And that right there is the installation of the solo bumper. <laughs>